it may not come as a surprise, but Hollywood medium's Tyler Henry may not be the clairvoyant and medical intuitive he says he is. On his reality show, Henry and his mom visit celebrities' homes to connect with their deceased loved ones. But it's hard to believe that this young man supposedly knows nothing about the celebrities he meets with. Doesn't he have a TV? Here are all the reasons why Hollywood medium is a sham. Obvious props when Henry did a reading for Matt Lauer in August 2016, he was given an old pocket knife to assist his senses, but most sensible people could easily conclude that an old pocket knife is probably going to belong to someone older who had passed. Tyler then says this person wanted to die at home, which is a very common request. It's Lauer who reveals that Henry must be referencing his father, who passed away in 1997 at home in hospice care. Next, Henry brings up a coin collection. So strange. He's showing me a reference to like a coin, and I don't know why this is coming through in the way that it is. But he's showing me, and, and it, it may not click right now, but he's referencing to these coins. I have a couple of silver dollars from him, but not a, a lot. Okay. Henry never explains the significance of the coins or the pocket knife, and the rest of the reading is uneventful. Henry calls Lauer out for snoring, which Lauer himself revealed a few months earlier on the Today Show, and then throws in the typical comforting sentiment. And nothing of value is learned. Thanks, Tyler. Wow easy to Google. When Henry met up with other Today Show staffers in January 2016, much of the information revealed was very easy to find online, particularly since the tragedies mentioned in producer Alex Paquette's life had occurred within the past six months. I'm going to bring through, I think, two people for you, which is good to keep in mind. I have a man who dropped out of a heart attack completely randomly and talked about how he had a valve problem. The emphasis with this is honestly that I don't think we could have really predicted this happening. So that makes sense for you? Oh my god, yeah, this is crazy. All Henry needed to know in advance was the name of the staffer to easily research enough information to formulate a seemingly accurate intuition. In another example from his own show, Henry attends a party with cameras in tow when he randomly gets a pull in the direction of this girl. I couldn't quite explain it, but I just felt like I had to deliver a message. Most people could see that this random girl is actress Bella Thorne, but Henry supposedly has no idea who she is. He talks to her about a man in the fatherly kind of a realm, passing in a vehicular-related accident and a reference to 2007. Thorne eventually reveals that her dad died in a motorcycle accident in 2007. You know what also revealed that information? Google. Henry goes on to try to forge a connection involving a plush gift, but Thorne draws a blank on the teddy bear references. Henry concludes by advising her to talk with other family members. It would be like really old, <laughs> really deteriorated, but I would check and see where that would fit within family because it will make sense to someone. I'll try to okay. convey that. I would ask around about it. Though Henry told Out Magazine he prides himself on focusing on information that cannot be researched or Googled, his vague references that connect with the client all seem to be information that's easy to access online, suggesting his visions aren't the sentimental pieces of information he says they are. Why not give a few more readings to people who aren't on Wikipedia. Is telling Tori Spelling about her long-dead dog really that big a deal? Anyone can be a medium. When Henry appeared on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians in 2015, he claimed that Chloe had a very great intuition and felt energies and spirits really well. She asked if she'd ever be able to see visions like him, and Henry told her if she wasn't afraid of her psychic abilities, then she too could become a medium. You definitely do have that really keen intuition. Of course, Courtney also has special powers, according to Henry, leaving Kim out of the psychic club. The only thing we're learning from this is that perhaps we'll see another Kardashian spin-off soon. Courtney and Chloe take the afterlife. No big questions. If you have the ability to communicate with the dead, you'd probably want to ask some big questions. Like speaking directly with deceased attorney Robert Kardashian, who defended O.J. Simpson. But Henry did no such thing when he met with the Kardashians in 2016. Instead, he focused on Caitlyn Jenner's deceased dad's tree trimming business, which, again, is easy to look up online. And pretty boring. Someone worked in an orchard? <laughs> or like... He was a tree surgeon. What's that? You're boring. It's information straight out of Wikipedia. Henry relies on the old trick of only telling clients either things they already know or vague, comforting sentiments, such as assuring subjects that deceased family members are together and watching over the living. As usual, nothing too surprising or interesting emerges. He messes up his own game. 
Henry sometimes trips over his own words, revealing that, despite working constantly in Hollywood, he actually knows who celebrities really are. In season two of Hollywood Medium, Henry meets with the Real Housewives of New York star Carol Radziwill. As usual, Henry pretends to have no idea who she is, saying, Now, I don't know what you do for a living. <laughs> I just don't watch much TV or anything, and you may not even be in TV. I How exactly does Henry know this person is on TV? He quickly tries to cover up his misstep by saying, You may not be in TV, you could be Broadway. But this revealing conversation shows he may have conducted his own research before the reading. Or, you know, had seen her on TV, like most people. Grief Vampire like many TV psychics, Henry tends to play on people's sorrows in order to demonstrate his gift. According to Susan Gerbic of The Skeptical Inquirer, by telling clients he's communicating with their loved ones, he's exploiting their pain as a grief vampire, feeding off others' sorrow. Henry told Out Magazine his goal was ultimately to work with parents who have lost children to suicide, but we don't see him doing much of that. Considering his high profile and $1.7 million net worth, you'd think that would be a goal he could pursue if he truly wanted to. Instead, he only visits people on E! and their associated networks in the ultimate cross-promotion. Henry also told out, A huge part of my work revolves around being an activist and being able to create a conversation. Yet again, the bulk of the activity we see from him is at party appearances, book signings, and announcing some very vague visions. With a reported waiting list of more than 15,000 regular people as customers that Henry isn't addressing, his business seems to have everything to do with staying famous, and that doesn't involve anyone who isn't famous. We're reading you, Henry, loud and clear. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!